All right, guys, you guys saw the title. I don't really know what much else to say. I pulled my hamstring. It sucks. Now it's just a matter of getting back as soon as possible. I'm just basically gonna try and make the most of my time injured to strengthen my core, keep my upper body in shape, just keep my overall fitness at a good level. And then when I come back, hopefully I'll be ready to sprint as fast or faster than I was going to before I got hurt. How it happened, I was running the 200. I'll show the race of when it actually happened. Set. can't see the actual injury very well, but I think when my leg was all the way like lengthened, and then I struck the ground, there was just too much force. It happened about 40 meters into the race. I just felt a popping sound like from behind my knee up into my glute, and it was really painful. I kind of just hobbled off and knew that I was done. I'm also gonna throw into this video a lot of the clips I took from the CU POTS Invitational, which was the meet that our team went to this past week. It was in Boulder, Colorado. I got a lot of footage of my team and just a ton of the athletes at the meet. Here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you thought of that. And if you want to see more of that for future meet videos, it's about three days after the injury right now. It's feeling a lot better. I've been able to walk somewhat normally, not 100% normal yet. I don't think it's too bad. My athletic trainer said that the recovery time is probably about six weeks. It could be less, it could be more, hoping less, but I'm not gonna rush my recovery because the last thing I want to happen is to get injured again. If I seem kind of like upset about it it's because I kind of am at the end of the day I can't really do anything about it yeah that's where I'm at right now what I'm doing is just some light range of motion exercises every day like once a day during practice time and then I am also icing a couple times a day for about 20 minutes I am having a compression bandage on so it's basically just a wrap sleeping a lot 9 to 10 hours each night drinking a ton of water, basically just trying to do as much as I can. From what the people that know a lot about it have told me, I've never had an injury this severe, so that was really good up until this point, and then now, obviously, it kind of sucks. Hopefully my body handles it well and I can come back as soon as possible. I am probably going to make a recovery series because I was going to be filming like meets and my races and some of my training over like the indoor season, but now I'm going to probably just be filming like my recovery process and just what I'm doing to get back into shape before the next couple meets. 
look out for that. The first one will probably be out next week. You can look forward to that if you're interested in seeing what it's like to recover and get back to the track. I'll still definitely make a video at some point going through my goals for the 2023 season. I don't think I'm gonna do it right now because I think it might just make me more frustrated to talk like about my specific time goals when I don't even really know how soon I'm gonna be healthy or like what races I'm gonna be able to compete in and uh, how much training I'll have before outdoor season starts and stuff like that. So I'm gonna wait to make that video, but I definitely will talk about my goals for this year. This injury does suck, but I all I can really do now is focus on the present and focus on the future and just trying to get back as soon as possible. I was really thinking that I was gonna run a fast 200. I was gonna try and run 22 low. I think that was like definitely a possibility. And then I also had the 4x4 later that day, which I was thinking I was in shape to probably split like a 49, maybe a 48 high if it was a really good day. I just don't think my body was able to handle how fast I was accelerating because I just wasn't used to that level of intensity because I had like four weeks of straight training with no meets. So I really didn't know how fast I was. That could have been part of it another part of it could have been my warm-up wasn't perfect I had to kind of like shorten my warm-up I felt ready to race but you never know I'll see you guys in the first recovery video for next week let me know what other kinds of videos you guys want to see if you have any ideas just leave them in the comments and thanks for watching